this um, video is to make an Excel VBA that will arrange numbers in ascending and descending orders. So first I will do um, a code that will arrange numbers in descending orders. So now for me, let now let's create numbers now. To create numbers I will use a random I will use an inbuilt formula which is a random between I press the tab key I say between the bottom is 1 and the top is 50 between 1 and 50 bracket close uh, enter. now I will now drag this thing down to this place I've created so many other numbers so now when you check the numbers the numbers is not well arranged now I will create a code that will arrange these numbers orderly. So now I will go to developer. I'll, pre I'll, I'll press the developer tab. Go to the visual basic button. Click the visual basic button. And if you don't have developer tab, you can right click and click the customize customize the ribbon if you just click customize the ribbon it will show now if this thing is not checked you check it the developer will be there then you say okay or you can also go to file <coughs> you can also go to file option on the option you click the customize ribbon now this is the developer if it's not checked you check it and click ok so the team will come here so now the developer is here i will just click the visual basic now for me to differentiate between um sheets i will rename i will rename this sheet let me rename this sheet to let me call it sheets let me use my name sheet uche as the name of that sheet i will not just say enter now look at it the name has changed here i've renamed the sheet now this is sheet two now let's go to using the excel tab enter the excel where on sheet two this is sheet two these are the values you have variable okay this is not properly spelled so but for me to correct it i will just say press f7 press f7 this is the um now i would i will decide to choose the variables i will just say change it will change and say okay now if you if you do that the whole of this will also change now let me just select a cell click delete button it will also change so let's leave it at, at this because it has different values here now now let's go to the visual basic if we enter the visual basic I will, let me now insert or select that. Let me insert model two. Now inside the model two, <coughs> I can just say I will just create create a sub sub. Let me call this the sub which is this is my name. Which bracket open and close enter so. Let me now define. Let me define a, ver a, a variable. Let's say dim. Let me call it dim. Dim step. So dim step as double. Press the tab key. <coughs> Then next thing, the next thing I will do now is I will now define. Okay, let me. I will also, let me define these other variables here. I say a comma b comma c comma c comma d comma 
as double press the tab key enter now let me check back case 4 let me go back to this so now i've created the variables now let me assign values to the variables i will say a is equal to sheets uche sheets uche dot sheets uche dot range press the tab key bracket open double column double column quotation column double not quotation column double uh, quotation then this should be a2 quotation column space now dot value value press the top key enter let me check if the, the value for a is a2 whether there is let me check okay it's not a2 this is a2, a2 is this a here so what i want the a here to be equal to this five which is b so that means i need to change this to b which is the second column so change it to b then enter for now put the, um, also assign value also define uh, assign value to b by also using the same method this so is shit you shit uche dot range press the top key bracket open column b3 bracket m quotation mark quotation sign dot value and see now let me just copy the whole of this paste enter paste now i need to select this press shift tab shift tab again press tab okay press shift tab Let's start again. Okay. Now I need to change this to C. Change this to C. Let me change this to D. Change this to D. No, not D. This should be B. B. B for this should be B five. Now, having assigned values to A, B, C, and D, what I'll do next is to having assigned values to them. I will now write an if statement. This one if statement is written in one line using columns. There is no end if. So I will say if B if B is greater than A, then now we are using we are doing descending order. So we use greater than if B is greater than A what we're going to do is to swap we need to swap so that a will not be greater than because a is supposed to be the, the highest is supposed to be 
supposed to it's supposed to the, the, the series is supposed to start with the highest then down to the lowest so anything that is greater than the first one should come down so now since if from this if statement if b is greater than a we need to swap the value of b to a so that is what we're going to do now now if a is less than b meaning that this will not use put the value of a to be equal to the, the value of the step to be a now we have assigned step to be a then now and in this situation a is equal to its value step is equal to a then now let's now assign a equal to b now when i put column now we have assigned now b and a is equal to b because b is higher than a so a should be to the, the the first should be the highest value so I want to swap now so now i will now say b will be equal to the value of uh, a because i've assigned step to a now that means a is equal to b and b is equal to a that is what we just did now so this is what i'm going to be doing now if if uh, um let's say c we have done for B. If C is greater than A, because we needed we needed the first to be the highest. So if C is greater than A, for for, for that of B, if B is greater than A, A we have solved that one. We have swapped it. Now if C is greater than A, then we will not use that same step. We will not make the step to be equal to A. We put column now we now make a to be equal to c now we have swap a we have swap a to be c and a to be equal to step now we needed to now assign c to be equal to step which is the same thing as a so we have swap it now now the same we are going to do to D if D is greater than A then then step would be equal to A column A would be equal to D we have swap it now column then now we will not assign the value of A to the value of we are now assigning the value of a to d which is step because we have now a has changed to d to the value of d now enter now we have now placed the first value to be the highest value from this expression now we are going to do the next one which is b the second value now if in this case we're not going to use a again because a we have assigned the first value which is a the highest value now we, we will not assign the second value which is b now if b if uh, c is greater than is greater than b because b is the second value then the step should be equal to b then B should be equal to C. We have swap the value of C to B. And then now C will be equal to step. Now we have swapped the value of B to C since C is greater than B. Now the next one we are going to also check if D is greater than B. Then we say step should be equal to b column then b should be equal to 
it should be equal to D column. Now we have swap the value of D to be B. Then now the value of D will not be B because step stores the value of B. So we will not assign the value of we will not assign D to be equal to step. Now we have gotten the the the, high, the second highest value next to a is b we have gotten that we have made b the highest value the highest out of the remaining three now we need to also make um, c also greater than d so that it will be in descending order so now we will now say if d is greater than c then step will be equal to C column then C will be equal to D we have swapped the value of D to be C since D is greater than C then D will be equal to the value of C here D will be equal to the value of C because we have stored the value of D um, C in the step we now enter so this is it now let's check let's check what we have done using the immediate um the immediate window let's go to view the immediate vin window which is this now we can now just say we we'll say the bug dot print space we we'll say a enter we'll, oh, let, what I'll now do is to so just copy this copy paste press control cop control C which is copy then control V paste enter control V paste enter control v paste enter control v paste so now i can change this to descending descending order now i need to put a push, um, double quotation mark quotation sign I need to put a double quotation sign press ctrl x to cut then paste now I'll change this to b I'll change this to c I'll change this to d now let's now click the run button to see if what we did is correct and if it's not correct we'll what we'll do now we we debunk the to where the error is but let me just click so you see the value is properly arranged in descending order now let's do for ascending order what i'll do is to just copy the whole of this copy come down here Control v paste select this point now let's shift tab key press it again now I'll, for ascending order I needed to change this to less than I need to change this sign to less than to less than I need to change this sign here to less than so
so what this sign is showing is that if B is less than A you needed the first one to be um, you needed the first one to be smallest smallest so if B is less than A that means A is greater than B now we needed to swap so that B, um, A will be smaller then B will be higher so that, that that's for ascending so I need to change this to ascending order let's change here to A Control X, cut, cut, then paste. Now, so that is for ascending order. Because when you check for the ascending order, what we are, what we are doing is, if B is less than A, it means that A is the highest. And since A is higher than B in this case, now, what will you, what, what will happen is that we need to swap. The value of a to be b then b to be a so what we did now is that we store the value of a in step then now we now say the value of a we now assign the value of b to a therefore by making a smaller in this case then now for here we now assign the value of uh, uh, B to this value uh, for to this value of to this step this variable step which is carrying the value of A the higher value of A that they're making the value of A smaller now and the value of B bigger that is you know creating the this I am ascending order so but the first one we did was descending order so that is a formula to get what your descending order so let, let's do for the ascending order let's clean this whole thing and now say for ascending order we just click run see this one is descending order then this is ascending order now i can just copy here copy control c then come here say control v so that there will be space in between this last value and this so now let me just say let me now run look at it there's difference let me just delete this remove this Let me just delete it now. If you just press press the wrong button, say run. Look at it. You have 35 to 27, 13, 5, 5, 13, 27, 35. You see? You see the, the thing is properly done. So that is that is it. So that is how to arrange numbers in ascending and descending order now let's erase this erase this now let's see i don't want to show it here I want it to go I want it to be I want it to be displayed here on the sheet on the same sheet I want it to be displayed on this same uh, sheet or no let, let me say I want it to display on this same sheet Let me look at the okay. Let me see, I start from um, A7. Now,
Now, what, what I will do now do is for me to arrange that properly. I will now say sheets uche dot range. In this case, I can use um, okay. There's no need to use array, but I can use array to do to do this. I can use array. Okay, there's no need to use array. So now let me say I want to start from A7. A7 okay. equal to that should be equal to a now shit shit uche dot range bracket open quotation mark b seven Repetition map equal to so this should be equal to a now what I'll do now is to copy this whole copy this and make some changes copy this paste the changes I need to make it here I just have to change this to eight here eight here to eight here to eight we just got this paste Put quotation mark. Okay. Okay. Paste. This should be B. Here B. Then copy this. Paste. Change this to nine. Change this to nine. Change this to C. Change this to C. Then we just copy this again. Paste. I will change this to ten. Quotation mark. Paste. This to D. A B C D K D. Change the C to D. Change this to B. Control X cut to ten. Control V paste. Now. You can just copy the whole of this for oh. copy paste here. Oh, we need to change this. 
You have 11, oh. 10 here. You can start from 12 here. Change that to uh, zero to five. Change this zero to five. So that is it. From twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that is it. So now let's check. Let's check what we did. Let's now go back to this. Now, what I will do is I will either insert. Let me use a certain this. We'll just right click right click and then um, I'll say assign micro select this Uche say okay now I can also go to developer go to insert I will insert this button I can also use button now I'll just select this to same chain. Both will do the same thing. Now if I click this, you see it shows that this is A, B, C, D, which is well arranged and in a descending order. This is well arranged in ascending order. This is descending order, this is ascending order. Now let me just now go back and click this changes click this changes because this is a random random so let's go back to the system so started with seven you have six in between I can now just copy this Paste it. Changes to six. Now changes to descending descending order. Now I can come here. Copy this. So control um, right click copy I'll just enter so I just paste it come here I'll just say one this ends in what ten I can just call this ascending Sending order. Now, let's 
go back to this but just click this see descending order ascending order the same thing uh, let me just delete this arrange so it's arranged in descending and ascending order great so so you see you can use shape you can also use buttons so now if you like this video please subscribe and hit the notification bell now if you can also share the video to some other people that will like this kind of video thank you for watching till the end